Hello my friends, today video we're going to implement a QR code scanner within a few lines of code just like you see in this preview. So by the way, I just created another video about how to generate the QR code with the source code. So please check out the link below. When you launch the Android Studio after the hit create with the empty activity, you will see this form. So we can create with the new empty projects and I'm going to give a project name and the language I'm going to choose Java and all of the things just leave everything by default. Okay, if you are fresh with the Android project, feel free with these lines of code which are automatically generated for default project. And now we need uh, the dependencies to add into our project and I will change the target SDK to the lower version one because I have uh, problems when I run on the device. Okay, and then now go to this GitHub project. Uh, please find out the below link I will place in the description. Scroll down and copy this line. And then go back to the Android Studio and paste it back in here. And then click here to sync the project to download the library that related to this uh, dependency. After we take some time to download, now we're going to design a very simple view for the tutorial project in this XML file. I'm going to place a button in the middle screen. So here I'm going to change this parent layout to the related layout. And then this tag view to the button. So let's say a text add the scan. You can see the preview on the left button is on the top. So we're going to uh, add attribute to align the layout to the center. So last, don't forget set the ID that we will use later on. Now we can go to the Java class uh, main activity. Uh, firstly, we're going to initialize the button from the view. I set the button as a global variable. And then we're going to instance the button from the view by the ID. We can set the action when we click the button to perform a scan code. So I will create a new method to handle this process. And this method will be instead a new scan options object to setting up some options. I'm gonna set the text message. We can press the volume up to turn on the flash. Okay, and about the beep to true. And we can also lock the orientation. And then we're gonna set the activity that activate the camera permission. We have to create a new class that I will call as the capture act. And you can see the red highlight mean this class does not exist yet. So let's create that class with the shortcut. Now this is the new class that we have to extend it from the capture activity. And we don't have to implement any lines of codes because of this capture action class have built everything including asking the camera permission, design via the camera to capture. So we just leave it here. All right, so now we can see no error in the red highlight. For the last, we have to launch the activity which is have a camera scanner. So let's implement the activity result launcher and that we can retrieve the data after camera capture or console. As you can see, we have the scan option as a type that we're gonna register with it later on in the scan code method. And now here we can check in case something is returned after we capture by the scanner. I will show the result in the alert dialog.
we set a title and the body we gonna show uh, the result text which is a uh, QR code text and we can dismiss the dialog after we hit OK button And at last, don't forget call the show methods to make it visible. And now we can use that object in the scan code method. And this line methods accept the parameter which is the scan options. So that's all for the code in this main activity class. Okay, over here, volume is incorrect. So let's correct it up. All right, now we will set some setting in Android manifest file. that is uh, related to the class that we extended from the capture activity, remember? And then we set the orientation of a portrait. And we don't need to save any state on this activity. And the last, we're going to set the theme from this library. When we access the camera, we have to set the permission camera in this XML as well. Okay, so we have doing a little of code in here. So let's try the app. Okay, the app is launching. And here, this is not an emulator, but the mirroring from my device, my real device. Okay, so let's click on the button. Yeah. Now you can see the app is automatically as the permission in the runtime without write any code that related. Because basically we have to write some code to check the permission for the Android, which is higher version. So now just hit allow. Okay, it's work. The result return from the camera and it show in the alert dialog. So let me try it on the back code instead. Okay, it still works fine as well. I can press the volume up to turn on and turn off with the volume down. Everything is work fine. You can review with my code in here. Uh, that's I have done and implement a little line of code and the app is already to play with. So if you want source code, you can find the link below or go to my second channel to get it. Comment down below if you have something to ask and I will respond as soon as possible. And the last, I do appreciate it if you guys click the subscribe, hit the bell to turn on the notification. And I will see you in the next video.